This summer, Solrise Finance, IEO and IDO took place on the FTX and Radium platforms, where 2 and 2 million SLRS tokens were listed at a price of 4 to 5 cents. Now, at the time of the creation of this video, the token price is about 80 cents and that is 20x of the original price. SLRS is a utility token on the Solrise Finance platform, used to pay fees for staking in order to reduce the share of fees to vote through the DAO model and for incentivizing users that contributed to the project. The maximum supply of tokens is 1 billion, with 20% allocated for the team, 30% for incentives and the ecosystem, 30.3% are allocated to foundations, nearly 12% for fundraising, 5% for providing liquidity and 3% for advisors. Solrise Finance is a decentralized fund and investment management protocol on the Solana blockchain. Solrise is easy to use, practical and non-custodial. This means that users retain full ownership of their assets. Neither the protocol nor fund creators can withdraw funds without permission. Any user can open their own fund and everyone can invest in it. And the entry threshold has no minimum value, thanks to the Solana blockchain. When investing, the user will receive FT tokens or fund tokens. They are the same as LP tokens of the liquidity pool. Initially, the Solrise Finance project was created for the Solana and Serum hackathon, where it took second place. And the development team itself is known for creating such popular products as Soulflare, the first e-wallet on the Solana ecosystem, Solana Beach, a blockchain explorer, and Solrise DX Pro, a decentralized exchange supported by Civic Technologies. Currently, all actions take place in the test mode. In order to start investing and managing your own funds, you should click Connect Wallet on the main page and then select one of the available wallets. For this, you can use, for example, Solid or Fandom Wallet. We have videos about both of them where we broke down all of their functions. After connecting the wallet on the homepage, you can create your own fund with a 50,000 test USDC. By clicking Create Fund, you will be prompted to name your fund. Then you should click Create Fund again to create it and confirm the transaction in the wallet. On the fund page, click Deposit to get the first 50,000 test USDC. After that, your fund page will change. Two buttons will appear. The Invest button for investing in your own fund and the Trade button for trading the fund's assets by trading or placing a limit order. In the Performance tab, we can see our fund stats. The Investors tab shows users who have invested in this fund, and in the About tab you can find detailed information about your fund. In the Performance tab, scroll down to the Funds Token section, click Edit and then Add New. Select no more than 3 tokens at a time that you want to add to the fund and click Save. Then they will be displayed in the corresponding Assets card. By going to the Investors tab, you can observe your fund's participants and their contribution to the fund. By clicking on the participant, you will go to his profile where you will have access to such information as the address of the wallet, the available personal fund, and what they invest in. Going to the About tab, click Edit so you can change the name of the fund, add a detailed description, and attach links to Telegram, Twitter, and Discord. To exchange tokens, click Trade, then Swap Assets or Limit Order to place orders. Here you can distribute test USDC among the available tokens. To do this, select the USDC token and the token you want to receive. Enter the desired number of tokens and click Swap. You can place a limit order by going to the corresponding page by clicking Limit Order. Here you can select the order rule and the action that will be performed when the rule is executed. For example, if Bitcoin rises to a certain price, then 10% of the available USDC will be exchanged for the sole token. To do this, we choose, for example, Bitcoin, a chart that displays the market movement and the desired price which the asset will reach. In the action, select the token that we will exchange and the token we want to receive and send the percentage of tokens to be exchanged. After that, click Create and wait for the order to be executed. To start investing, return to the home page and in your investments block, click the Select Fund button. After confirmation, you will have access to a test $10,000 for investments. By clicking All Funds, you will be taken to the page with funds. Here you can choose three funds in which you want to invest money. Using the search, you can find your own fund by specifying its name. Or you can choose any other fund for investment. To provide your own funds, click Invest and select the number of tokens. Confirm the action by clicking Invest and after that you can see yourself in the available investors. And by clicking Withdraw, fully withdraw your funds. The home page now displays the fund in which you invested. You can also select up to 3 funds if you still have test money left. On the prices page you can see token prices. Leaderboards show leaders among the funds and investors with the best profits. Rewards will display the available price and SLRS tokens for participating in the trading competition. Do not press break something if you don't want something to break. In the testnet you can understand how the platform's functionality will be approximately implemented and how convenient it is. The Solrise Core Funds is planned to be launched in October 2021. 
This is the first version of the protocol which will be on the main Solana network, and along with this, a trading competition will be launched. Also, Solarize Collective Funds is planned to be launched in the fourth quarter of the year. Collective funds are intended to be invested in other funds, and at the end of the fourth quarter it is planned to integrate Solarize into the updated classic Soulflare X wallet. In 2022 we'll have farm funds and a leverage function for funds. Learn more about cryptocurrency and subscribe to the Krypton channel and our social media. All links will be in the description.